Welcome to the Oscars 2022, the 94th annual. Uh, we are live and I'm shooting this on film for the first time. I just have to say that's one of the most remarkable suits I've ever seen. Well, brother, thank you, brother. Gorgeous, yeah, good to yeah, see yeah, you. Yeah. So nice, saw it a mile away. For those of you who don't know, that, who is it? All right. This, by the way, is a movie coverage rock star. That's uh, Julian Soto. Julian, it's your first time at the Oscars. How do you feel? I feel like a uh, pig I'm in the suit. <laughs> <laughs> you look good, man. You look great. You look phenomenal. Um, we've been debating all along. Like, typically, you're supposed to wear, like, a uh, what Julian's wearing. Classic black and white, right? I'm not exactly wearing classic black and white. Um, and so... We're worried that I'm going to get thrown out. By the way, how do you like the coverage this year? I'm shooting on film for the first time. Saucers. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> exactly. Cool. Since we are covering movies, we're shooting on film this time. Let's just walk the length of the down carpet. Getting her on my locker. Good morning, John Clay. Uh, stories about John Clay. John Clay was my first boss, one of my dearest friends, if not my dearest friend on the planet. A uh, little trivia about John Clay is that... John Clay was once the boss of Jimmy Kimmel, and Jimmy Kimmel's theater is right there. And Jimmy Kimmel surprised John Clay on his 50th birthday one time in ways that I'll tell you later. Phenomenal dress there, phenomenal suit there. Hi, Carol. Julian, what are we shooting this Facebook Live on? 16 millimeter? Yeah. All right. Uh, Tara Hitchcock's watching. Um, Tara Hitchcock, it's Julian. I think you guys have met before at various junkets. Julian, Tara Hitchcock's watching right now. Uh, Tara, welcome to the Oscars. I wish you were here. Good to see you, Tara. Do you like the film look? It just seemed right for this. Um, up there. So, uh, that guy. That's Terrence J. You might know him. He's a BET presenter, also an actor, and he's the star of my friend Dion Taylor's new movie, Heat. Um, phenomenal movie made during COVID. A horror movie about people bubbling during COVID. Really good movie. I, I may have said Heat, but the movie is called Fear. Sophia Carson. Where's, so, where's Sophia? Week. Oh, that is Sophia Carson. She changed. That's Sophia Carson next to her. Sophia and Terrence. They'll be at the last stop of the red carpet. They're rehearsing right now. Um, what else can I tell you? So this is different. This is the elbow. This is where the stage makes that right-hand turn. When the stars make their right-hand turn past the only true shiny Oscar, they're going to stop at this. And I love this. It's a bar. They're actually going to stop, and they're going to sit in a bar for a minute and have a little talk. And I'm guessing being the... Being that Amy Schumer is one of the presenters, I'm guessing that they'll probably imbibe a little bit, which I think it's going to be super interesting. Um, you'll be seeing me on there. This is my first time. I, I should point out, I've been covering the Oscars most of my life, but this is my very first time to be here as a filmmaker with the seat in the main event, which is right through there, up to the stairways. Julian, what's your experience of the, of the Oscars so far? What would you? What has surprised you? What's bigger or smaller or unique to it? Uh, the, I don't know. I feel like I'm used to a lot of madness. It's just a lot more outlets included. And people always talk about like this being like the Super Bowl. Well, you've been at Super Bowls. Yeah. How does this compare? I feel like everybody gets a little more crazier because you don't know who's under the helmet, and here you could see them face on. Right. Yeah, the, the, there's something about it. Super cool. Um, let's walk back down the red carpet before I sign off. You, you, it, a lot of times you just kind of feel like you're in everybody's way, like you're blocking someone's shot at any given moment when you're up here. So it's Sophia Carson, Terrence J. They'll be your presenters right as the stars make the right-hand turn. Wanda Sykes, one of the hosts. Uh, Regina Hall, one of the hosts. And, of course, like I said, Amy Schumer. Hey, Kevin Steincross. Big fan of your Kevin Steincross. Good to see you guys. I believe you're in Vegas right now, and you guys double down. Double down. Always take a hit on 15. I don't even know what that means. There we go. <laughs> da, da, da. I've been covering this event since the days existed that selfie wasn't even a word. Wasn't even a thing. Now about every 10 feet you're going to get a selfie on this. 
Looking sharp. Looking very nice. Looking sharp. Steve on the sand. Hi, Leonie Smith. What's up, Candid Mary? Do we know who that is? I do not know. Okay. We just noticed, I will say this observation. So usually that's a step and repeat. That's where the stars are going to first step and you know have their photo taken, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's but Tony Hawk right there. What? Oh, no, it says, his sign says Tony Hawk. Oh, gotcha. It's but I, I've noticed, I've noticed um, that person's been there like for the last 30 minutes. Hasn't this person? Gotta get the right shot. I'm not sure who this is, but this person has not moved in the last 30 minutes. Gotta get the right shot. Gotta get the right shot. Absolutely. Oh, look, it's Troy Katsur. I know it's Facebook Live, but it says Troy Katsur. Marley Matten, hello. So that's the way they block this, that people wear the signs. You can't read that, but that says Marley Matlin. People wear signs representing the stars so that the stars can get... Uh-oh, Julian, you see what I'm seeing? No. Oh, hold on. You see what I'm seeing? Uh -oh. I'm not the only one wearing camo on the red carpet right now. Because I, I don't know if you could tell, but like, um, thanks to my friend and uh, amazing designer, R. Douglas, I'm wearing a camo suit too. That guy's rocking it. A lot better, but still, you can't blame me for trying. We got work to do. Can't Facebook live all day long, Julian. Any any parting words, Julian? Good luck to everybody. <laughs> um, Kid and Mary said something. A lot of money in just clothing. Julian, I know you've probably heard me say it before, but how much money, um, how much does it cost to put together the look of a Best Actress nominee? Ten million? Yeah, that's exactly right. Ten million dollars. Amazing dress. Best in house. Thank Good you. to see you. Thank Good. you so much. Where are you from? From Mexico. Jessica Bullman. Oh, uh, como esta? Muy bien. Uh, who is going to win Best Actress? Oh, I have to say I love Jessica Chastain. Yeah. And, yeah. That's all we want. And that, you? That's what I think Jessica Chastain too. And I have to say um, Benedict Cumberbatch is really amazing, but maybe Denzel Washington. You think Denzel Washington? No, maybe, Will Smith? Maybe. Uh, Will Smith is uh, one of my favorite, but I would love to see uh, Benedict Cumberbatch winning um, that Oscar. Amazing. And throw out your handles. Where do we find you on social media? Uh, uh, um, arroba. <laughs> Soy Jessica Bullman. Soy Jessica Bullman, Instagram and everywhere. Muy bien. Muchas gracias. Bye. <laughs> I haven't heard Benedict Cumberbatch's name mentioned that, as a that contender. Was, that was crazy. I mean, uh, that's Mexico for you. He's a great nominee and truly a contender, but eh, he's not going to get it. Love me some Cumberbatch, but he's not going to get it. Uh, Lana, good to see you too. There's another phenomenal dress. Check that out. Gorgeous. Purple velour, but yeah, $10 million to get that best actress look. $10 million. Julian, do you know how much money all of this? Everything that you see, the theater, all the spectacle, do you know how much that cost? 100? 100 million? 42 million dollars okay. to put on the Academy Awards. And by the way... Four people, four dresses. Yeah, exactly. Four dresses. So there's the Jimmy Kimmel Studios, and uh, we're right across there, right across from that is where you're going to find us. Um, if you take any of the helicopter shots before they come to us, you're going to see a D in Disney right by the El Campitan Theater, and that's right where we're located. Because I know you aren't worried about such things. All right, you guys, it's the 42nd Annual Academy Awards happening. And uh, we'll be live all morning long on ABC 10. Peace. Yeah.